Hey, what's up guys? Uh, this is Josh. Um, we're going to be doing a quick little tutorial right here. Um, I'm thinking about doing maybe a quick tip of the week. So I think, uh, I'm sorry, I think I'm going to start that um, little series. Uh, so this is going to be episode one. Alright, so we'll get into it. Uh, today we're going to be learning about how to make nice, super, super nice text in Cinema 4D and um, how to make them even nicer in Photoshop. So, uh, the first text style, we're actually going to be learning two text styles, so this is going to be part one, there's going to be part two. So this is the first one, uh, Carm, face Carm, uh, right here, he's got it, a really nice um, text, uh, and he got some outlines right here, so we'll learn how to do that in Photoshop. So, here we're in Cinema 4D, we are, we're actually here with the word already, so we're actually just going to delete that real quick. So first thing you're gonna do is um, go to character, or sorry, mode graphs, mode text. Uh, you're gonna change the text uh, name to CARM in all caps, CARM, and we're gonna change the font to Agent CFB. We're gonna make that bold, and then we're gonna change the alignment to middle. So uh, the camera view. Your original camera view would be like over here somewhere. So for right now, we're just going to make it like this, uh, about right there. Then we're going to go to we're going to go to the top toolbar right here. We're going to go to this icon right here, and then we're going to go to warp, and then we're going to put warp. Uh, we're going to hold and drag warp, and go over mode text and make sure the arrow is pointing down. And as you can see, CARM is a little messed up, so we're going to make some changes to warp. So click on warp, put the height to maybe 1,030. See how that, that, looks, that looks fine. And then we'll change the rate is to 4, we'll do 420. So that looks perfect. So as you can also see, um, his text is really thick, really long. So um, we'll need to go to mode text. Go to object, change it to maybe a hundred, and that looks fine. Maybe change the angle a little bit. All right, so make sure that you go to your render settings. Make sure it's 1280 by 720. Save, save it to your desktop. Make sure you have PNG. That's important. That's really, really important. Check alpha channel and straight alpha, and then you're gonna go to effect and go to global illumination. And then we're on global global illumination. Click irradiance cache, and then go to low, and low. All right, so exit out of that, and uh, we're gonna render this. Now I actually already have this rendered out, so uh, I'm just gonna skip that. This is what it will is what it should look like. Don't worry about how it's all pixely and everything, and it doesn't look that good. It has pretty bad quality. Don't worry about that. That's fine. So we'll exit out of that. We'll go into Photoshop. Now you should have saved it to your um, to your um, to your desktop. Sorry about that. That was my bad. And um, so when you go into Photoshop, you'll go to New, Open, uh, Desktop, and then you'll go to I saved it as the name of Carm Tut as a tutorial. So we're gonna double click that. It should open to this. Uh, we're going to take your, le on the left toolbar, we're going to go to the rectangular marquee tool and make sure you have the whole entire word selected. Go to layer, make sure you have the layer of the word selected. Go to control C and then we're going to do new um, uh, file, sorry, file, new, and then we'll do maybe 960 by 150 which is actually the banner uh, sizes. So do that, we'll control V. Actually, I think I'm really wrong on that one. I don't think that's the banner sizes. Okay, so we'll go to new. We'll just make it 1920 by 1080. Uh, we'll control V again. So it should come like that. If it looks all pixely, just zoom in and it should actually look perfect. But we're gonna zoom in a little bit more for this. All right, so. When we go here, you can see that he has some nice little glowing outlines right here. 
Um, we're going to learn how to do that right now. So first thing you're going to need to do is um, go to your brush, go to size, go to the drop down arrow right there, make sure it's maybe, we'll do three actually, yeah, same thing, 100%, make sure it's at 100% the hardness, and then you're going to go to your pen tool, go to layers, go to new layer, um, first off actually, before actually, before all this, actually we're going to go to new place, uh, hopefully you have a textures pack, so maybe like metal, metal texture is what I'm going to put, so we're going to go to this one, turn it 90 degrees, alright, so now make sure that it's big enough to completely fill your whole entire word, uh, enter, and go to layers, you're going to pick in between the, the six, which is the metal texture, and the um, the uh, layer, which is your word. You're going to go in between there. You're going to hold Alt, click, and then it should look like this. And then you're going to go to Soft Light. And it looks like that. It looks real nice. But if you want it darker like that, then just do Overlay, and it'll look a lot darker and a lot, a lot better, actually, I think. But for this, we'll just do this. And then you're going to do layer 1, shift, and hold layer 6, uh, merge layers, and then do new layer. Uh, just close that for right now. Alright, so now is when you take your pen tool, and we're going to go pen tool, and we're going to go right here, right here, and right here. Alright, so we'll right click on the path. We'll do stroke path, make sure it's brush, and make sure it's simulate pressure, and make sure, before this, actually make sure that you have the color that you want, so I'm just doing like a purple color, and then we'll do OK, and then we'll right click, and we'll delete path. So I can see it looks like that, and it looks pretty nice. Um, what I would do actually when I'm done with all of this, oops, let me to open that, what I would do when I, act, when I um, finish all of this, making sure it's how I like it, so like, I think he did one right here. Like so, uh, stroke path, okay, and then delete path. What I would do after I'm done with all this is I would actually, to make it more blend in a little bit, I would go to adjustments, I would go to gradient overlay, I would pick this overlay, it's sort of an orange and purple overlay, and when you go back to layers, you should have a gradient map right there. Just go to soft light, and it looks very nice looks super nice. I would use this on backgrounds. I use this on backgrounds actually all the time. Um, you can do this or you can just go to normal and put the opacity down way down to 28. And the only reason I do this is if I want to get the whole entire background to maybe get around this color. So I would do that. So, alright guys, I hope you enjoy this uh, tutorial. Um, we're going to do actually another text style, but that's not until part two, and that part two is going to be this one right here, it's going to be just a nice red outline, which is going to be pretty nice, and it's going to be based around the same things, um, the glowing things right here, so we'll be doing that, um, so, uh, guys, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe, please comment, please comment, it really keeps me going, uh, please like, please favorite, and, um, thank you, uh, have a nice day.